Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Jacob back here for another review, another blue review, another 4K review, another 4K blue review from Warner Brothers. So this one is a, I want to say cult classic, something I've definitely heard about, but I had never watched before. So we have uh, new to 4K, though definitely not a new release. We have The Lost Boys on 4K, that slip cover, I'm apologizing. Very greasy fingers, I just finished dinner. Um, the Lost Boys on 4K. I have heard some um, some negative comments towards the cover art specifically. Apparently the poster art is fantastic. Um, all I can vouch for is the cover art here, which I don't mind. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily have any. I have never I had never watched this until last night, so I don't have any fondness for the or nostalgia for the original artwork. But I like it. I like the uh, the glossiness of the slip, of course, with the Warner Brother ribbon and everything. It's very, very glossy, which is making it really awkward that I have a ton of pizza grease fingy prints all over it. So, the Lost Boys. Um, this is a 19, I think, 87. Uh, da, 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 da. 1987 film, rated R. Um, it just says rated R, not for any reason, or not for any specific reason. 97 minutes, it does have Dolby Audio. Um, does not mention Dolby Atmos. Um, I will say the digital code does redeem in 4K. Does not have Dolby Audio or Dolby Vision. What did I say Dolby Atmos earlier? Does not have Dolby Vision or Dolby Audio. This disc has Dolby Audio. Um, so, take a look at it there in all of its glory. The Lost Boys. The um, If you're seeing it on the slip cover right there, so those dots are not on purpose. That is actually like a defect or a printing error or it's been rubbed up against something. They did ship this with another film which you'll see reviewed tomorrow. Um, so don't anticipate seeing those. Hopefully you get it in pristine condition. I actually don't mind. I think it kind of looks cool. Looks like it's supposed to be there like the moon, but it is not uh, consistent, which makes me think it was, uh, especially with the glossy, and that's just some of the glossy came off. But uh, there you go. Slip. Check out the back. I'll read the synopses to you real quick. If you are like me and weren't familiar with this until now, although... I'd assume if you're watching a 4K Blu-ray review of something that's been released before, you probably watched this and you want to check the quality because you're going to buy this for your collection. So, Sam and his older brother Michael are average everyday teens, but after they move with their mother to peaceful Santa Clara, California, I believe from Missouri, or no, Arizona, things mysteriously begin to change. Michael's not himself lately and his mom's not going to like what he's turning into. Uh, and the mom, um, no, not the mom, the love interest in this, uh, I believe her name is Star. I recognized as the mom from Still Standing, so that lets you know how out of order I watch things. She's already a mom in the show. By the way, Still Standing needs physical media release. I like that show a lot. So, special features are all on the Blu-ray, which is a re-release. So all the special features are a commentary by the director, Joel Schumacher, Schmucker. Additional scenes, The Lost Boys retrospective documentary, The Return of Sam and the Frog Brothers, The Two Corey... Two Corys and Jamison Newlander. Multiple video commentary va vamping out the undead creation of Greg Kenham. Inside the Vampire's Cave, four featurettes. Hamstein and Feldog, the story of the two Corys. Lost in the Shadows music video by Lou Graham. A World of Vampires interactive map and theatrical trailer. So the commentary is on the four disc, 4K disc, but other than that, it's just the film, which is fine. Looks great in 4K. Again, I have no, I have no like nothing to compare it to except the Blu-ray disc in here. Both look great. Of course, the 4K goes above and beyond. It looks great. I will say, having had no experience with this film, I did really enjoy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Solid vampire flick for sure. Um, really liked this one. Um, so we have the Blu-ray disc and the 4K disc. The Blu-ray gets the black treatment with the simple logo and the Blu-ray logo, the WB. And basically the exact same thing for the red 4K disc, The Lost Boys. I will say, I kind of wish they would have kept the same font themes. Like, instead of having this font, it would have been the uh, this font. It's also cool to see Kiefer Sutherland in something other than 24. So, there you go. We have a hip comic twist on classic vampire stories. So, again, I really like... There's the mom right there. Or, I'm sorry, not the mom. There's the love interest, who is the mom is still standing. The, the mom in this, I didn't recognize, but... Probably not in much nowadays. So, yeah, The Lost Boys. I'm going to go ahead and re recommend this. If you're like me, and for whatever reason you've missed out on this, especially this time of year, September, October, 
kind of the mood for something spooky, this is a vampire movie. I'm going to go ahead and recommend this. If you have seen this before and you'd like to know if it's upgrade worthy, it is. It looks awesome in 4K. I didn't see any problem with it. No playback errors at all. I watched the entire disc. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend this to you guys. If you want to support the channel in any way, I have links in the description to all of my link. I have links in the description to all of my affiliate stuff, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TV time, and my letterbox where I interview all of the TV shows and movies I watch respectively, my eBay page, and my Blu-ray.com page. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Warner Brothers, so much for sending me a copy to check out for you guys. Again, link in the description. Support it on physical media. Support it on physical 4K. We need more of these. Warner Brothers is killing it in the 4K game. I appreciate you guys watching so much, and uh, catch you later, YouTube. Hey, did you like yet? Did you subscribe yet? Did you click that notification bell? Go ahead and click that notification bell right there so you never miss anything on the channel. And also over here should be additional features for the channel. Um, there should be a video or a playlist or both, maybe one of each for you to stay informed and stay on the channel. And also be sure to subscribe on your way out right about here.